Hello beautiful friends, it's Erica here to do the reading for Aquarius for the first half of January 2020. This will be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, or if you have a lot of Aquarius in your chart, or if you have a lot of air in your chart. This is obviously going to be a general reading, will not resonate for everybody, so do go check out the other um, zodiac signs that make up your natal chart, as often they can resonate more than your sun sign, and obviously... Uh, take whatever resonates, leave the rest. And being a general reading, this won't resonate for everybody, obviously. So if it doesn't resonate, don't make it fit. That's why I recommend going to check out the other videos as often they can. Um, sometimes be more appropriate and active given wherever things are in your particular chart. So also um, we do have... We're starting off 2020 in the new decade with really big um, influx of light and energies and events. We just had an eclipse here in December 26th. We have another one January 10th. Stay tuned to the channel because I will be posting a video specific to that eclipse. That happens on January 10th. And two days later, we have the Saturn-Pluto conjunction, which happens once every 36, 37-ish years approximately. And it doesn't happen every day. And it's always a big thing when it does happen. So... Um, I have put together a 2020 playlist where I have videos specific to that conjunction. Highly recommend going to check it out because these are going to be affecting you uh, whether you are aware of them or not and why not use them to your advantage, these energies, um, to make the most of it for making the changes in your life that are aligned for you and your highest. And um, I think that's about it. So... With that, I'm going to pull a major arcana theme here for the first half of the month for January for the sign of Aquarius. Ooh, and we're getting Luna, the moon. Capricorn just got this one too. It's, a, it's the first repeat of anything I've had in the major arcanas. Everyone's getting something different, but this is, the I believe, the first repeat we have had, and I only have one more video to film. So... Luna, this full moon could be big for you, Aquarius, but this is all about intuition. This is about secrets. This is about um, potentially fears that could be coming in, but let's, um, or fears surfacing here, but to me, it's more intuition than anything, but let me pull a minor arcana to see how this could be playing out here for you, and you're getting the three of orbs, which is the three of swords which can be a card about sadness and heartbreak and grief. So, I'm gonna pull another minor arcana because I don't wanna just leave it at that. Um, some of you could be really just trusting your intuition about um, a past heartbreak or past sadness that you've been carrying um, maybe that it's been kind of welling up in you and it is important to be releasing it. I am getting such a, an energy of the release here with the lightning, right? Cause that's when the electricity gets so big in the atmosphere that it just suddenly sparks. So it does feel like this could be, if you've had emotions welling up here about some past sadness, it could break free. It feels like a very liberating energy, but why is the three of orbs here? I'm going to pull a second one. Nobody... Somebody else has gotten me consciously pulling too. And the Adept of Chalices. Wow. So here we go. This is actually the Knight of Cups. So this is an offer. And you see the wave rising? You might not be able to see it with the glare. Um, but there's a wave that's rising really high here underneath this moon. It's pulling the emotions up. We have the sadness, but then we have the wave crashing. So this is the Knight of Cups, which can be an offer of love coming in. So Aquarius, your reading is just doing what it usually does. <laughs> so let's actually take a look at, um, which is basically um, a lot all over the place. Although occasionally Aquarius, your readings can be extremely clear, but typically they are um, very cerebral, very like not letting me, not letting me in. So let's take a look here at how this is playing out. I'm going to pull six cards. 
first three for the first week approximately. So we have the Seven of Cups, we have the King of Cups, and we have the Moon again. So we're getting the Moon twice, followed by the Ace of Cups. Wow. If you're still watching this video after you got the Three of, of Swords here, I commend you because sometimes people run, run away screaming when they see the Three of Swords, but um, not me. But look what we have here. A lot of emotions here for you, Aquarius. A lot of emotions with Luna, with the moon, with the Knight of Cups. Because look at how this wave is just crashing over this guy. He's just like diving in. He's like, well, these emotions are coming in. I may as well just like do what I can. Um, but there is something here where there's a new beginning maybe something that you might be a little bit guarded against because there has been some past sadness around it, which is why this, this, uh, it's like you're ready to release the sadness is what I said here. And here it is. It's almost like you could be guarded with this new beginning that's coming in because you may have been trying to decide you may have had some options, but it does look like someone's coming here with a lot of love for you with this King of Cups, maybe to even communicate this to you could be around the moon and but there is a new start here but i do see potentially you might be guarded trying to decide whether you want to move on from the past or not so let's get some more and see how this let's get another layer There's materialism, which is the devil. There's the king of cups with the temperance. The moon is getting the eight of cups. The ace of cups is getting the strength card. The nine of wands is getting the six of swords. And the five of cups is getting the seven of pentacles. So what we have here. is you may have been experiencing some fears here, Aquarius, um, and emotional confusion, because maybe you felt stuck in a toxic situation with this devil card, and you may have been trying to decide your options, trying to figure out what's going to make you emotionally happy. And you've been integrating this lesson to now where you know what you want, you know what you want, you know what's going to make you happy now. And this is also where you have now integrated this spiritual lesson of breaking free of the, when this is materialism, that certainly could be keeping up with the Joneses. The Joneses keeping up some sort of a farce on the outside. It looks like everything's great, but in reality, you've been sort of stuck there and it has not been a healthy situation. But with this eight of cups, it's interesting because there's the seven of cups and the eight of cups. And in this depiction of the eight of cups, this person, the seven is here and they've chosen their one cup to bring to you. And look at what's the next card. There's the cup being brought. So it's almost like the moon and your intuition has been telling you to, to follow through on your, on what's going to make you happy. But there's something here where it could be that you've been, you're holding back. About this new start. Or another per whoever's bringing this forward is not quite bringing it back yet. They're holding back a little bit. They're they're possibly a little bit guarded. Some of you could be, um, again, things are starting to get better here, but it's almost like you might be tapping your feet going like, was this all worth it? Like, look at the past. Did I waste my time? What did I, what have I done? All this work I put into this, it's kind of bringing about some sadness, but you weren't emotionally fulfilled there. There was sadness there. There's two cups here that are being offered that you're not focused on. You're looking at the ones that have spilled on the table. 
and you're kind of wondering like, gosh, I put, you know, I might have invested a lot of time and energy into this, but it, but it, it, it wasn't the thing that was going to make me, me fulfilled emotionally. Let's get some more here. There's a tower. Temperance with the Ace of Pentacles. So two aces here. Two aces. Being no longer conflicted. Somebody's coming towards you or you're going towards somebody that you are not conflicted or confused anymore. You've gone out of the illusions and you could be ready to just start this new thing that is, again, something that's emotionally fulfilling for you. The cups energy. You know, the cups. What's going to make me happy? You've made your decision. You've integrated this new lesson. You're ready to make something happen. And the Two of Swords along with the King of Swords with the Strength card with the Ace of Cups. So somebody here has been decisive and ready to put down the indecision for this new beginning. They've been either holding back until they've made this, this decision or the they have been um, courageous now in making this decision. And they're ready to go for it. And again, the Seven of Wands. So interesting. It's like there's somebody, there's action and there's movement and there's, it, things are getting better, but then there's an energy here in the middle of the month where there's change and the sevens represent spirituality and spiritual growth, but there is a new beginning, a new start. Standing your ground for a new... St okay, what I'm feeling from this is there's something here that you have put a lot of work and time and energy into that is just not fulfilling you emotionally. And the beginning of January could really bring about your... Um, making some changes that will allow that to come into your experience. And the Knight of Pentacles... Some, Again, movement, slow and steady movement towards your future. I'm just getting drawn to how this guy's looking backwards to the past. This guy's looking backwards to the past. But then standing your ground towards your future going this way. To the same direction the Knight of Wands is going. Because you know, your life hasn't been aligning. And you want stability. You want happiness. You want hard work paying off. This could be a card of marriage and manifestation. But... It's like the universe is going to reward you for your bravery here, Aquarius. And it's been a long journey for you because you've been very much stuck in this dynamic here. And here you are, Nine of Swords. The stress is over. You've decided. The breakthrough has come. You're ready to embark on a new journey when it comes to love. And you're clear about that. Wow. Okay. Well, Aquarius, um, here we have a new, it's time to live from the heart. It's time to open up the emotions. You've been holding them back, holding them back. And now it's time to live from that emotional maturity and that love. And to just move to where you have this brand new rebirth coming. You finally got the blindfold taken off. You're no longer holding on to some structure from the past, possibly because of past money connections with the five of pentacles. Um, it's like the universe is taking off your blindfold and allowing you to move through. Because this is that spiritual lesson. Is, you know what? Um, nobody's going to change this from me, except for me. And, um, but they're calling you towards a lot more happiness and love. All right, Aquarius, I hope that was helpful. And do go check out the other readings in your chart. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.